one and only the legendary and sadly gone Chuck Brown and he was my paisan from Washington DC we did the TV show together brought him on as my guest huge boxing fan there's a picture of him in the back but you can't see it I'll bring it on another show but uh used to see him in concert hang out with him in his dressing room it was fantastic man he turned it out and only Chuck and Chucky B style could Chuck do a cover of Speak Softly Love from The Godfather done by Al Martino. But he did it. He sang a little bit on it, but it was more his guitar. Man, he was bad to the bone. I'm going to give you a little bit more of my paisan, Chuck Brown. Man, summertime, summertime in the hood. Chucky e. B, rest in peace, rest in peace, Paisan. I enjoyed hanging out with you many, many, many times up there at Ram's Head in Annapolis, Maryland. Forget about it. All right, folks, this is Bad Brad Berkwood, the host of the Bad Brad Berkwood Show. And this is another RSR video email back. Forget about it. All right, but before we get into your questions, as we always do, make sure you subscribe to the RSR YouTube channel. What are you sitting there looking at me for? Go subscribe already. Forget about it. You want to watch the videos, you want to hear more, you can't get enough, or you're tired, and you want to take a break, but you want to come back because you need a fix. Whatever it may be, folks, forget about it. Subscribe. All right, without further ado, let's get into your questions. First question is, let me get comfortable here. Bay, uh, BB, not bad, Brad. I'm so used to saying bad, Brad, but it says BB here, folks. BB, you just forget about it when it comes to Teddy Atlas. He gets on my nerves and is a grandstander in my book. What do you say, old truth teller? Wow. Signed, Tony T. from Los Angeles, California. Tony T. You calling me the truth teller. Forget about it. You're the truth teller, pal. Well, I'm going to surprise you. I'm actually going to tell you like this. I know Teddy. Okay. I interviewed him for my book. I always seem to bring it up, but it's, there's so many that people bring up. But he's in there, plug, 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 boxing interviews of a lifetime once again, <clears throat> which is pretty cool because I love the fact that I was able to interview all these people. Now, what do I think of Teddy Alice? I understand that people get frustrated because Teddy sometimes does go on a tangent. However, my dealings with him, and that's how I have to judge him, have always been straight up. He's never screwed me over. He's always gotten back to me when I've reached out to him. He's reached out to me when I retired from the military. He sent me a really, really nice letter uh, congratulating me on my retirement, my 20 years in the Navy. So he's aces in my book. But I can't understand how people could get a little tired of Teddy because he is long-winded. I say it to his face. But he's a walking boxing encyclopedia. And he's a New Yorker, so what do you expect? And um, there's some shtick with Teddy. Come on. There's some shtick there. It's okay, though. He's not hurting anybody. If you don't like it, this is America. You know what you do? Turn the channel. Now I'm showing my age. Turn the channel like there's a knob on your TV. Forget about it. Now I just really gave away my age. Do your clicker. Click, click, click. Change them. Mute them. Whatever you want to do. I personally got no issue with them. But I understand why people get aggravated. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. All right? So there's the answer to your question. Did you think I was going to run from it? Forget about it. I don't run from nothing, pal. There you go. Forget about it. Next question is, Bad Brad, <clears throat> excuse me, how good was John Tate? I know he had a drug problem and it affected his boxing career, which could have been so much bigger. What is he up today? Signed, Don C. from Atlanta, Georgia. Don C. I hate to tell you, and you know what? I had an email bag, another one actually before this one, that I had to break the news that somebody passed away, sadly. Well, John Tate, Big John, as they called him, Tate, sadly passed away in 1998. His truck, he was in a pickup truck, he was driving, ran into a pole, and he, he died instantly. Very sad. Um, I could say this. Everybody I interviewed that was on the Olympic team with him said he was a really, really nice guy. I think he wasn't able to read and write, not trying to put him down, I'm just being honest. But they said, you know, 
they said that about him and not and they said it in a compassionate way okay they weren't trying to put him down they was just trying to say how still he was such a, a larger than life guy and very very compassionate very nice guy loved to kid around loved to cut up now he won the title but sadly well i won't say sadly it's not the right word he sadly to him i, I guess you could say he defended against mike weaver and wow it was on abc sports it was part of a triple header Okay, that had Eddie Mustafa fighting Marvin Johnson. He fought, and it was another one. And I usually know the other one off the top of my head. I can't think of it right now. But Big John was winning the whole fight. And this is when fights were 15 rounds. Last round, Mike knocks him out with seconds left to become the heavyweight champion. John would go on to fight again against uh, nondescript opposition. And his drug, he became a drug addict. In and out of the ring, it, it affected him big time. And Sally, he died. But you know what? Even Big John, back then, I put him against anybody today for the most part. And I think he beats him. Because I really do think the heavyweight division, forget about it, is as weak as we can be. All right. There's your answer. Tony T. Next question. Bad Brad. Actually, this is the last question. I am not a fan of yours. Oh, okay. He's not a fan of mine. Hey, I told you we don't cherry pick. My answer, I'm going to read it as is. I'm not a fan of yours. And I want to see if you'll put this on your show. I don't believe you're a New Yorker. That your pinky ring is probably fake gold. My pinky ring is fake gold. Let me get a close-up of that. By the way, that's double B's. Okay? Talk about it in a second. Pinky ring is fake gold. And you look up everything you answer. Prove me wrong, you jack-off. Signed, Abraham Z. From Lexington, Kentucky. Forget about it. Kentucky... The official, oh, no, he's not the official, not on my bad, the commissioner, Alan J., period. It used to, I had to do a video for his birthday, folks, for him to finally put a period after J. Kendra is from Kentucky. I'm going to send him over to your house to kick your ass. Forget about it. He probably forgot more about boxing than you know, pal. But, okay, let's address the New Yorker part. Well, no, let's address it. See, folks, I told you, I'll put these in there. As long as it's not racist, as long as it's not uh, completely demeaning somebody, you know, an opinion is an opinion, I'll put them in there. I will put them in the bag. If they attack me, I'll put them in the bag too. That's okay. If you do that stuff and you have anything left in your question after I edit that part out, I'll run it. And I'll even say I edit it out because anybody that has to say some racial stuff is a hockey puck. Now, about the New Yorker thing. Well, pal, you're right. I'm on a New Yorker. It's all an act. Forget about it. Yeah, right. Okay. Yes, I am a New Yorker, folks. I was born in New York, okay? I was raised in Miami Beach. I'm Miami Beach, I say. And then I went back to New York at the age of 16. Forget about it. Pinky ring. Let me do a close-up here. You see it? Let's see. Can I turn it here? You see that? First of all, it's custom-made, pal, okay? And it cost me probably two months of your salary. How about that? Forget about it, you hockey puck. That's white. That's white gold, and that's di the letters are white gold, and that's all diamonds. Custom made, pal, from my jeweler back in Virginia, okay? For me, personally, yeah, forget about it. So, no, I don't wear fake gold. I don't believe in that. You probably wear the gold that turns green around your neck. But, hey, whatever, pal. You want to insult me. And as far as looking stuff up, I never look stuff up. You know why I don't have to? Because I forgot more about boxing than you'll probably ever know. And like I've said in previous shows, if you get me on something I don't know, I will tell you the truth and say I don't know it. Then I'll research it. Then I'll get back to you in a future bag. But I don't make the stuff up off the top of my head. That's why I say feel free to always email me if I get a fact wrong. It's few and far between. I will tell you that. I'm going to be honest about it. Forget about it. But... I don't look up nothing because that's not fun if you got to look it up because people are asking you off the top of your head your knowledge and that's my knowledge so forget about it all right now I'm going to end like this if I really wanted your mother grabbing thoughts Abraham Z from Lexington Kentucky I would have gave them to you pal now if you don't understand that ask somebody what I meant you hockey puck all right there you go folks we had to end it on that note but that's okay because we don't run, we don't hide. Okay, almost sounded like the Ninja Turtles. We don't something, we multiply. Whatever, folks. Abraham Z is entitled to his opinion, just like anybody else. All right? Send your questions in. That's another bag. Two, ringside report, 2014 at gmail.com. That's ringside report, 2014 at gmail.com. 
And as we always do, forget about it. It's another show in the can. And as Frank Sinatra sang so eloquently, so long ago, the best is yet to come. Bad Brad out.